Here's Kaepernick to throw. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. Kaepernick's pass. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. First down, Tampa Bay. On play action, it's Kaepernick. Airing this one out for Evans. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. I remember a coach telling me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Into the red zone now, Kaepernick. Steps away to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. He's brought down at the 15-yard line. A gain of two. Brings up Vaughn on the handoff. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Shotgun snap now for Kaepernick. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. Kaepernick. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the coverage was tight that time. They allowed the pass underneath to him, but they rallied to him pretty fast, too. Converged on him and got him down. That'll bring up fourth down. Now the man who broke Saints fans' hearts, Greg Zerline, on for the field goal. 30-yard attempt. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And this is back down to a seven-point game. Buccaneers, 24. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, this just like making an extra point, a piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. They'll run on first down. Timmons, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight. Rolling to his right. He's going to take off with it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. But to me, this leads to the question, do you admire the way he puts his body out there all the time, or do you think he should protect himself a little bit more? <laughs> well, he's been on the ground several times with all those sacks that he's taken. So, I don't know, I kind of admire him not sliding down there, don't you? I'm with you on that one. The meter definitely leans towards admiration. On first down, Timmons. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game.
Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Tyus Bowser. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Brandon, more often than not, you'd say they've had his number, and we can count them up so far. One, two, three, four sacks given up. But guess what? He's still been able to make some plays, and right now they have a lead. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now a shotgun snap as they look to throw. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Sunday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Buccaneers 24. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize. Like going to the county fair, you don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. It'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Brings up second and four at the 30. On second down, it's Vaughn. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. You know that old expression, it's not my night? It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. this down to the 45. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Brings up second and two. On second down, here's Kaepernick. They'll find Vaughn complete out of the backfield. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the pick up, first down. They certainly had success throughout this contest getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, They've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Brings up second and four. Kaepernick to throw on second down. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 30. He's at the 40. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, excellent blocking, and picked up a touchdown. 
Lutz will look to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And 10 at their own 21-yard line. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. We'll see if they can band back together after the pick six. It hurt badly, but still within striking distance. A two-score game with a good chunk of time on the clock. Now Kaepernick to try again here after the pick six. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Kaepernick. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there. But it'll be second down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to cadres don't take it away. Again, they'll throw with Kaepernick. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. And he is going to have a box first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 17 yards on the play and a Buccaneer first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores. And they've really got to get some yards in chunks. And they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now Kaepernick again. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll run on first down. It's Vaughn. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. step on that last play because the drive has been strong but now it's second and 12. From the gun it's Kaepernick. Eluding the pressure right and he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout. Appears we've got an injured Buccaneer. We'll check on his status when we get back. The Bucs on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and seven. Oh, the run is Vaughn. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. Okay, so thought they might go for it here down late. Instead, they trot out the field goal unit. And Zerline's kick is good. The kick. And that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. 38. Buccaneers, 27. 
So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. At their own 27-yard line. The New Orleans offense set to take over. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. Seven yards, the pick up there. A seven-yard pickup. Brings up second. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it here. This is their fullback getting the carry. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Brought down at the 35-yard line. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down. And they'll let their fullback try and push the pile. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Let's give credit to the defense. They got plenty of bodies to the point of attack and stumped the run. But I just wonder if the offensive line let down a little bit, knowing that the big guy was getting the ball, and he's expected him to pick up a first. Morstead now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 45-yard punt for there on the return. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. First throw now for the backup, Allen. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Andrews. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. The start for them near flawless. Defense gets them a three and out. Two quick pass connections on offense. So that's how a team works together. Just what you described. Get them the ball, give them a little momentum, and they're capitalizing off of that. Thanks a lot, guys. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucks have a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal don't necessarily need a touchdown. Three yards the game there, second down. Second and seven at their 48-yard line. Now Allen again toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The intended target was Chris Godwin, and it'll bring up third down. Malcolm Jenkins on the coverage. Allen to throw once more. Looking downfield for Godwin. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So it looks like the offense isn't going anywhere. They're going to go four on fourth and seven. One final try here for Allen. Looking downfield for Godwin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The Bucs try it on fourth down to come up empty. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Help me. Help me. 
They'll try and run with their fullback. And he's got this down to the 35. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Well, that was definitely a surprise there, handed to the big guy on first down. Heck, the first play of the drive. And when you see him get to the second level, as a former safety, I can just tell you, your eyes get really wide because you know you've got a lot to deal with at that point. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. Yeah, Give him yeah, 10 that time, it. escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. The pass. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. A gain of six there on first. Second and four at the 18-yard line. Quick hitter here, it's complete. The pass. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and ten. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop them. Use your timeouts. Easier to move the ball on offense without timeouts than to stop them on defense without using them. Right back to him on first down. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll drop the throw. Harris has it over the middle. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Brings up third and eight. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. And he nearly got the first himself, but it appears he's going to be about a yard or two. Other stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Here we go on fourth down. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. And now a carry here for their fullback. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They've gone to their fullback quite a bit. He'll get it again. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. A gain of one yard on the play. It's now third and goal. On third down, Timmons. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. A great effort there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. 
Well, business as usual for them, well on their way to another victory, riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. And the lead is up to 18 now. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Here's 27. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Taking it about the one. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. First and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish, and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. So the shotgun snap to Allen. I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Receiver, and that'll bring up second down. 24 yard line. Throwing again. Allen. Again for Evans. This time he's got him. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.